Hey everybody, welcome back to Darth Snugan's Toy Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at Ram Man and Ram Mam from Masters of the Universe. So over here on our right we have our Vintage. Uh, in the middle we have our Origins version. And then our new Ram Mam from the CGI Netflix series. Uh, first we'll take a look at ram man from our vintage line uh, he is just a hard plastic he's got uh, rotation at the arms he comes with an axe that you can remove and he has the spring loaded action there on his leg so you press him down and he's got a little tab that you can uh, press to release him. Now this one's kind of old, so he sticks a little bit. Uh, he's got quite a bit of wear, as you can tell. Uh, but the premise is, press him down like that. Yeah. So his spring action does okay unless you actually lock it in place. So like I said, he's he's pretty wore out. That's an old old figure there. Kind of a kind of a plain figure as far as uh, articulation and the sculpting and everything. Very different from the other figures in the line. He uh, stood out quite a bit just because of uh, the way the figure was made. You'd almost think that this was from a different toy line. So we get to our Origins version, which I love quite a bit. Uh, this was a deluxe figure. Now he actually has a bend at the elbow. You can rotate his hands. He also comes with the axe that you can remove. Uh, he has knees, which is something new. He also has that uh, spring action. And it's simply done by pressing it down and releasing. Uh, there's no lever or anything like that. Uh, you can also turn his legs out, which is uh, interesting. It's uh, different than our what we're used to. So what's really cool with this deluxe figure is you actually get a different head to put on it. which I think that's fantastic. You get that battle helmet, which is really nice. So the figure comes with an additional hand, which I actually have already have on him. Uh, that's for holding a second weapon. Uh, by default, it just has the closed fist, uh, but they give you this second hand so that he can, he can hold his uh, second ax. So he is a... Uh, he is definitely ready for battle, which is very cool. I always liked Ram Man. Uh, just the idea of a character whose sole purpose is to smash stuff. Uh, as a kid, I absolutely love that. Uh, little boys tend to want to tear stuff up. So uh, a character that's devoted to destroying things, that's fun. So we come to our newest version, which is Ram Mam. Uh, the character Crass from uh, the CG Netflix series. She's a lot different. Uh, she kind of like rolls up into a ball and, and rams into things with this helmet. And as you can see, she's got these jets on the back of her helmet and on her boots. It's a very different character. Uh, they completely, completely reinvented this character from the ground up. So I, I don't recall what it was in the story, but there was something to do with her helmet and it being her father's helmet. Uh, so maybe there's a chance that in this version's lore, her dad was the original Ram Man. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, she comes with a little bit of articulation. You can move her arms. You can rotate her hands. Make sure I'm not getting out of focus there. She has that spring back action. Now the legs just uh, 
move back and forth. There's no bend at the knee, no rotation at the foot or any kind of pivot or anything. So she comes with one accessory, which is this weird thing that actually goes on her head. And I'm going to put that on real quick. This is the most ridiculous looking thing I've ever seen. I get what they were going for. Uh, it's supposed to look like she's dashing, you know, ramming into things. Uh, it makes me think of Sonic the Hedgehog. I, I don't know why, but it's just really weird. Uh, that's that's the one thing I really don't like about the Netflix CG series line. Is so many of the accessories are just this really generic translucent plastic. Uh, they just really don't add to anything, if you ask me. But I don't know. Maybe the kids like it. It's a cool sculpt on this figure. Not exactly the the color scheme I would have went with. I would have liked to see more sil silver in the helmet. Maybe some more the colors to match up with uh, what we're used to on Ram Man. Uh, I don't mind that they gender swapped. That doesn't matter to me. Uh, I, th I think it's cool that they're reinventing the characters. Whatever you got to do to keep the line relevant is, is all I have to say. Uh, but it's not my favorite. I would go with the uh, the Deluxe Origins figure. I just think that's fantastic. And it is a stocky figure. It's, it feels solid. Alright, so we've got one other figure to bring in. Bill Goldberg from the Masters of the WWE line. And as you can tell, he is dressed like Ram Man. He even has uh, the same axe. Matter of fact, I believe it's actually the same axe that uh, the Origins one came with. The mode looks like his uh, same one. He has a removable helmet, so you can see his face, which is cool. Uh, you can remove the armor as well. And then he's got all that standard uh, articulation from the Origins line. I think it's a rather neat figure. Rather cool idea to uh, give him Ram Man. Uh, rather cool idea to give him the Ram Man armor. Think of uh, how he would always spear people and stuff in the ring, so uh, it makes sense. Alright, so let's get some measurements. We'll start with Bill Goldberg. And he is just over the five and a half inch mark. Alright, our vintage Ram Man. He is just over the five inch mark. Our Origins Ram Man. Eh, about five and a quarter. And then of course our Ram Mam. is probably around the five and a quarter as well it's really hard to tell with the uh, angle that i'm at uh, but you just have to take my word for it so what do you guys think it's a very interesting group of uh figures here um personally i'm still gonna go with the origins version uh but i do like the bill goldberg i wish the helmet would have been a little different uh they could have just given him a different head with the helmet already sculpted on it but I understand you got the likeness issues and they probably have some kind of contract that their face has to be visible but all in all it's a cool figure I mean I, st I still I still love my vintage even though he's worn out and he's got a lot of paint wear and uh, I've considered doing some touch-ups but uh, I kind of wanted to leave him intact the way he is All right, so that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching another video of me rambling about Masters of the Universe. Uh, I really do appreciate you watching, though. Uh, if you would, uh, give me a like. And if this is something that you enjoy, uh, please take a minute and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that really helps me gauge whether or not uh, you guys are enjoying the content. And as always, feel free to sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think of these figures. Again, thanks for watching. Everybody have a great day.